Hi, I'm Li Mei, and I will be sharing our work on puncturable search, enabling authorized search in cross data federation. This is a joint work with Chen Gengxu and Tian Mu Li. Cloud storage is a way of storing data online instead of local computer. With the growth of the amount of data, more and more users prefer to subscribe to cloud storage services. However, the cloud is not totally trusted. Therefore, data should be encrypted before outsourcing to the cloud, which makes it harder for the users to search for data as the original plain text search method. To solve the problem of encrypted data search, searchable encryption was first proposed by Song, etc., to enable users to perform search on the encrypted data outsourced to the cloud. Generally speaking, Searchable encryption schemes can be divided into two categories, that is to say, searchable symmetric encryption and public key encryption with keyword search. SSE allows only private key holders to produce cipher text and to create search tokens for search, whereas PEKS enables a number of users who know the public key to produce cipher text, but allows only the private key holder to create search tokens. Compared to SSE, PEKS is more practical to real-life scenarios, for example, email system. Now, we will give the overview of PEKS in detail. As shown in the slides, there are four entities in a PEKS scheme. First, the CA needs to distribute public key and secret key pairs for data sender and data receivers, respectively. Second, the data sender encrypts the keywords with the public key of data receiver and encrypts the files by a symmetric encryption algorithm, which will not be discussed in our paper. Third, once the data receiver wants to search for some files containing a specific keyword, he submits a search token generated by his own secret key to the cloud server. Finally, the cloud server performs the search operation over the keyword cipher text with the aid of search token. In general, PEKS is a practical cryptographic primitive to enable different users share encrypted data with each other. Though PEKS enables different users share encrypted data with each other without frequently communication, it suffers from a special kind of attack, that is to say insider keyword casting attack. When the cloud server, namely the insider attack, receives a short search token from the user, it can first use the public key to generate the cipher text of all keywords freely. Then, the keyword corresponding to the token can be gradually identified by performing tests with the generated cipher text. There existing some, relate, some related works on multi-user searchable encryption and IKGA security. The first MUSE scheme proposed by Kurt Muller, who utilized the broadcast encryption to enable data sender to selectively share files according to receiver's privilege. Then, one etc. proposed to introduce the attribute-based encryption to support encrypted search for multiple users and be extended by many scholars later. Since most MUSE schemes are designed under the public key framework in this case, the cloud server can conduct the aforementioned IKGA. Chen, etc. proposed an IKGA secure MUSE scheme. However, the empirical results shows that their scheme comes with expensive computation and communication cost. To this end, in this paper, we concentrate on designing an IKGA secure MUSE scheme in an efficient manner. Here, we summarize contributions of our scheme as follows. First, we motivate the need for MUSE in achieving authorized search in cloud-based team cooperation. Specifically, we devise a multi-user public key punctual encryption with keyword search scheme and adopt dual server architecture to support IKGA resistance. Then, compared with existing MUSE schemes, our scheme has the following two merits. The first is efficient update. 
Any teammate can efficiently update the access policy when some users exit or join without affecting the unchanged users. The second is non-interactive. There is no need for any third-party agencies to interview in the authorization or revocation process. Before we explain our scheme in detail, we need to introduce the system model firstly. There are four roles involved in DPPKS scheme. The first is the central authority, who plays the role of a key generator and is in charge of generating system parameters and master secret key for the whole system. Generating secret keys for the server and team members is the responsibility of CA as well. The second is the users. Each user in our model has two roles, the data center and the data receiver. When a user acts as the data sender, he generates and sends the keyword ciphertext to the private cloud. Meanwhile, the file is encrypted and sent to the public cloud. In another case, when a user plays the role of data receiver, he will generate the token of the wanted keyword and send it to the private cloud. A third is the private cloud. Private cloud is responsible for storing the encrypted files with the keyword cipher text and performing access policy verification with the tokens permitted by users. And the fourth is public cloud, which conducts the keyword test operation on the authentication cipher text sent from the private cloud. We give the formal definition of our DPPKS scheme now. There are six algorithms in our proposed scheme. The first is the setup algorithm, which is run by the central authority to set up the system. And the second is derive, which is also run by the central authority to derive keys for each user. And the third is punctual encryption, which is run by the data sender to generate the keyword cipher text. And the fourth is token gene, which is run by the data receiver whenever he wants to search for some files containing a specific keyword. And the fifth is policy test, which is run by the private cloud to verify if the search token satisfies the access policy contained in the ciphertext. And finally, the keyword test is run by the public cloud to test if the authenticated text contains the same keyword in the search token. Here is the system overview of our proposed scheme. In this case, there are three members in a group and they share their files through the cloud server. For example, user 1 acts as a data sender who sends the encrypted files to the public cloud and sends the encrypted index generated with arbitrary text to the private cloud. Then, user 2 and user 3 generate tokens for finding the matching files. Finally, user 3 and user 2 receive the matching result. Once user 3 leaves the current group, he will never be allowed to accessing data. To this end, user 1 builds encrypted index with user 3's tag. Then, only user 2 can get the matching results after sending the search token. Next, I will explain our scheme in detail. For the setup algorithm, the CA takes the threshold value D as inputs and outputs the system parameters, the master secret key, the joint public key, and two secret keys for two servers. Then for each member in the team, CA takes the master secret key and the user's tag as input and returns a valid secret key. Here, we take the ICE user as an example, whose tag is tau i. Here, SKAU tau i is the authenticated secret key used for authenticating the keyword. SKID tau i is the identity secret key used for generating the search token. When the data owner wants to share the data with some certain members in, the, in her team, she first collects the text out of her willingness and puts them in a set which can be called unauthorized set. We denote it as T. Then she takes the authenticated secret key, system parameter, the joint public key, the keyword, and unauthorized set and input, and outputs the ciphertext. 
This algorithm describes how the JS user generates a valid search token for a certain keyword W star. He takes her identity secret key and the keyword as inputs and computes the token STW star. Once the token is generated, it will be sent to the private cloud. After receiving the token from the user, the private cloud tests whether the user is authorized to the keyword by using the Lagrange interpolation formula. If the user is authorized to the keyword W star, its type will not belong to the tag set T, and therefore the coefficients UI star can be computed successfully. Finally, private cloud uses its private key to compute the verified ciphertext C and sends it to the public cloud. Public cloud will use its secret key to test if the ciphertext in the search token contains the same keyword by checking if the C equals to 1. Here is the security analysis. We first prove that our scheme is CTINDCKA secure and STINDCKA secure through a series of games described here. Then we can conclude that our scheme is thematically secure against inside keyword guessing attack. To clearly demonstrate the efficiency of our scheme, we implement our scheme on a Windows 10 laptop with Core i5 CPU 2.2 GHz and 4G memory. In our experiment, the tag and the keyword space are consisted of 100 and 1000 binary strings of arbitrary length, respectively. And we use the JBPC, JPBC library to implement cryptographic operations. Figure A and figure B show that the size of ciphertext and encryption time in the reference 6, 6, 15, 8 increases linear with n. Here, n represents the number of authorized users, while it decreases with n in our scheme. Figure C describes the detailed computation cost of our scheme. The algorithm token gene costs an average of 141 milliseconds. Besides, the more users are authorized, the last is the computation cost derived by setup and punctual encryption. Figure D shows that the computation cost of punctual encryption increases with the number of keywords, decreases with the number of authorized users. Figure E shows that the time cost of test operation increases with the number of keywords. More specifically, from figure F, we can see that the computation cost of policy test is almost negatively related to the variable n, while the time cost of keyword test approaches to constant 16 milliseconds. In this paper, we propose a novel dual server punctual public key encryption with keyword search scheme with designed access policy. This scheme supports team authorized search rather than single user authorization and enables senders to efficiently update the user's search rights without affecting other users. The heart of this scheme is the exploration of a new perspective to realize efficient data sharing by changing the object to in the access policy from authorized users to unauthorized users. Besides, when teammates change, the data owner can efficiently update the user's search rights without affecting other users. The scheme has been proved to be a KGA secure against any internal adversary through cyber security proof under the standard model. Furthermore, extensive experiment results prove that our scheme is superior as compared with other schemes in efficiency and security. In the future work, we will construct an MUSE scheme that does not require a specific threshold and is further able to withstand quantum attacks. Thank you for your listening.